What's going on guys, I'm back with another video. We've seen several major celebrities appearing in photo shoots, where they symbolically pledge allegiance to the occult elite. Far from being subtle, the symbols are clear, unmistakable, and repeated throughout mass media. In my last video about Billie Eilish, I mentioned that she was currently the most influential star in the world, and that she was on the cover of all the magazines. This is her on the cover of V Magazine, in a photo shoot that contains several dark and ritualistic elements. In this pic, she is made to look like some sort of demon one sees during sleep paralysis. The same concept is exploited in her music video Bury a Friend. Here, she wears a beta kitten mask, similar to what is used in occult elite masquerade balls. Here, she has one eye hidden using a skull. Welcome to the industry, Billy. Another pop star, another one eye sign. This is the cover of Halsey's new album. It features a stylized black eye, glamorizing abuse, which doubles a one eye sign, glamorizing submission to the industry. This is the cover art of Halsey's single, Graveyard. One eye sign again. This is the cover of the new Goo Goo Dolls album. It is always sad to see bands who have been making music for decades, submit to this oppressive symbolism to remain relevant. As usual, the one eye sign is everywhere. Anybody who is somewhat relevant or influential needs to do it, in order to remain in the public eye. This is beauty YouTuber Jackie Ina doing it on the cover of Essence. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Rihanna was featured in Bazaar China, and the entire thing was extremely symbolic. As usual, mass media missed everything, and complained about cultural appropriation. The only culture that is being represented here, is the global garbage promoted by the occult elite, as exemplified by her hiding one eye and doing the one eye sign. In nearly every picture of the photo shoot, Rihanna has one eye hidden. Here, her eye is hidden by a butterfly, a classic symbol representing monarch programming. I've been make a video about her, and she has been doing this her entire career. Hiding one eye again. By the way, while Rihanna was on the cover of Bizarre China, Stranger Things star, Millie Bobby Brown, was on the cover of Bizarre Singapore. And yes, she has one eye hidden as well. This girl was recruited at the age of 11, and is being led to Stranger Things. This is actress Beanie Feldstein, the sister of Jonah Hill, on the cover of Fashion Magazine, doing a big fat one eye sign. I like how this sign of total submission is coupled with buzzwords such as freedom and liberate yourself. Symbols rule the world, and words are meaningless. This actress and director, Valeria Galino, doing a blatant one-eye sign on the cover of El Italia. Trebiza is a magazine about Austin's innovative citizens. There's nothing more innovative than using a model to make the one-eye sign on the cover. Keep innovating Trebiza. This Lin-Manuel Miranda, star of the Broadway musical Hamilton, on the cover of Departures magazine. Once again, the buzzwords activists and visionaries are under the one eye sign. Seems to me that there's something obstructing Miranda's vision. Netflix loves to put the one eye sign in its promos. This is a promo for the smash hit Money Heist, or La Casa de Papel, featuring a one eye sign. Those are the stars of the series. This is the poster of the Australian movie The Nightingale. The movie reportedly made viewers nauseous, many of them walked out, do scenes that showed extreme violence inflicted on babies and young children, as well as horrific zoomed-in footage of rape and torture. Everything that the occult elite loves. Hence, the one-eye sign. 
The poster of widely acclaimed French-Canadian movie La Femme de Monfrier features an obvious one-eye sign. The one-eye sign was on so many magazine covers that I cannot even show them all. I still find it crucial to showcase some of them because they prove that, 1, the artists hiding one eye are owned by the industry, 2, the magazine itself is also owned by the industry. This is Adam Lambert, showing that he is owned by the industry. This is Japanese actress, Hikari Mori, on the cover of Vogue Japan. The way her eye is hidden by a random line is so clever and creative. It's like, wow, pure genius. Football star Paul Pogba, on the cover of Spanish sports publication AS. The up athletes absolutely need to do this. The cover of El Russia, featuring model Blanca Padilla. They used a flower to hide one eye. So much creativity. I'm so inspired right now. Ariana Grande posted this on Instagram. Hiding one eye using a Grammy award is a perfect way of showing total industry control. The Chinese city of Macau is dubbed the Las Vegas of Asia. Its music festival Hush is one of its big attractions. This year's ad campaign is all about the one eye sign. The Guardian recently published a lengthy interview with Rose McGowan, one of the main faces of the Me Too movement. The lead picture is Rose, doing a big fat one eye sign, while the title says, My career was stolen. I guess she understood what to do to keep her career going industry slave. The gown is a friend and supporter of Asia Argento, who was also a face of the Me Too movement, until she got accused of molesting a minor. She's also deep into occult elite symbolism as exemplified by this devil horns one eye sign combo. This is the lead image of an article in another magazine about Rose McGowan. The subtitle says that she wants to rewire our minds. No thanks Rose. Just focus on your own mind. This is the bass player of the band Tool, on the cover of Bass Player magazine. I am always impressed by the originality of these one-eyed poses. Wow, he is using a bass guitar to hide his eye. So inspiring. I wonder what other musical instruments can be used to indicate complete submission to the elite. Garrett Nichols James used his guitar to hide one eye. Powerful stuff. Ann Harris uses her violin to hide one eye. A real trailblazer. French violinist Gabrilla, who became famous on The Voice 5, uses her instrument to hide one eye. So awe-inspiring. I wonder other ridiculous objects could be used to indicate being a pawn of the elite. This is the album cover of Beck's new album. He is hiding one eye with his hand. I'm already hearing comments saying, bro you're reaching, he's just hiding his face from the light. Not everything is a conspiracy, you know. Fair enough, let's look at some other Beck album covers. This is the cover of his 2017 album, Colors. This is a variation of it. This is the cover of his 2015 single, Dreams. See a pattern? Refusing to acknowledge the oppressive prevalence of the one-eye sign in pop culture is actually the pinnacle of reaching. Anyway, I just realized that in 2019, Vodafone released an ad that is extremely symbolic. It ends with a woman entering the Vodafone logo, which is strategically made to look like 666, with the tagline, the future is exciting. Ready? Well, if the future means entering a sinister corporate logo which also doubles as a gateway to Satan himself, then no Vodafone, I am not ready. The people at Vodafone love to pull this kind of stunt. Here's a screenshot from a promo made on Greek TV. Still not ready, Vodafone. Never will be. This is a top view of the UK Supreme Court. The judges literally sit around an all-seeing eye. Now you know who controls this entire system. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video.
stay safe and healthy.